to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And here we have Juventus against Monaco. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. Quick look at the lineups. things on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, Radamel Falcao is the one. He's been blessed with an awesome array of, of finishing skills. Then when you factor in his, his stealthy movement and his instinct for position, you end up with a lethal, lethal concoction. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Falcao. Quadrado. Now it's Iguain. And it's Iguain. And Jukic. Iguain! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Yeah, and it's very good play to force the initial error there. That's what created the opening in the first place. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Tries a through ball. Going for goal! Goal! Monaco! And Monaco take the lead! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's a simple game. The striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. Monaco take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. And Jukic comes forwards. Quadrado plays a clever pass. Gonzalo Higuain! He is sensational! They are right back in business. Straight head up, made it look easy. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had.
Juventus at the equaliser, and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal. They just got caught napping. So what now? It's a long forward pass. Deftly done. Higuain shoots! That was a matter of inches. It so nearly came off for him. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Locks it towards the front. Just more than 15 minutes till half-time. Midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. A waste. Spoon forward. Iguain. Camille Glick with the foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Danny Alves. it back thrust towards the front line now the pass Manjukic Kadira Dybala now surely Monaco going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Looks like a good ball through. Fabinho already, of course, on the score sheet. It's got through to him. A glorious footwork. And it's Quadrado. Higuain. Keeper's got good distance on that. That'll be the final action of the first half. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? Yeah, I think they'll be happy with that scoreline. I just hope the second half is as good as the first. It's been pulsating stuff. It's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each. Looks to slip it through. Alexandro. Dybala. It's another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Well, the idea was crafty, but the weight of the pass was just a little light. Aimed long and direct. Camille Glick. Fabinho. Timely intervention. Fabinho, Falcao, passes it through. What an adventurous run from a defender. It's come loose. Dybala pumps it upfield. Quadrado tries to get it forward quickly. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Manchukic. Higuain. With the ball through, can he find a finish now? Oh, he's broken through. Can he find a finish? Yes, he can! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Jim, your thoughts? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved it.
Juventus take the lead. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Played out to the right, good ball over the top. Falcao. Who's going to make this theirs? Higuain takes control of it and he's on the move. Defence has got rid of that. Monaco uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Falcao. Lobs it in gently. Dangerous looking ball, and it's come to nothing. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a. Higuain is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulders as much as he'll want. Oh, he's come flying in. Brings it forward. Now the pass. And Djukic looking to get on the end of this. Slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line has had a bit of a blockage. Pumps it upfield. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Hoops it upfield. It's Falcao! A oh, great save, real class. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet... He just coped with, with room to spare. Floats one over. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Pjanic. Quadrado. Passes it through. Away from immediate danger. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is some win. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, they approached this with a very definite game plan, and I think to a large extent the, 